All right, so thank you very much. Uh, all right, so when we're looking at um, why we use magnetic wedges, so the primary use of these is, is um, to improve the magnetic flux pass in the stator themselves. Um, with better magnetic flux in the motor, you improve many aspects of the motor's operations, which includes many of what I've uh, highlighted here. Um, mag wedges are commonly used in large, and I mean large, form wound motors and wind generators in particular. Um, to, particularly we'll deal with the four to eight pole machine. Um, and in motor designs, kind of give you an example of when we're using them. Um, and in, in fact, actually when we aren't using them properly, when it, a motor was designed to have the magnetic wedges and you take them and replace them out, one of the most obvious signs that you haven't replaced with magnetic wedges and you'll see an increase in the temperature, uh, operating temperature of the machine in some cases, as much as 20 or 30 degrees C, which is quite a difference in the, the end users are gonna see that if they were uh, uh, prepared improperly. So when I talk about the magnetic flux, uh, I'm, I talk about magnetic flux. Um, so how do, we test for the, how do we test magnetic flux and how do we test the wedges themselves? So the, the gun company has done both internal and external tests. Um, on the materials, and, and we've actually uh, written a white paper that's out there, and you will have access to it after the after the fact. That talks about the differences in the, the flux path uh, between a standard wedge on the left hand side, and what a, a flux path in theory looks like on the right hand side. Um, and to do this, we test it using the ASTM um, A927, which fundamentally measures the permeability of the magnetic or the, the magnetic wedge or materials in an AC machine. Perfect, there we go. Um, in this slide, um, we show the permeability of the magnetic material. If you look here on the bottom, what I've shown is the uh, an excerpt from the white paper, which presents the data from the lab. In this case, it was actually conducted an outside um, lab. If you look, the highest permeability, which is what we're looking for, is the 12.6, which comes from the Magnavol 2067. Now, this is a high pressure um, uh, glass cloth based material versus um, the other materials, which are generally um, could be high pressure, but they all use a um, random glass mat material. The belief that why the Magnavol shows such a really high stratification, uh, excuse me, um, permeability at this uh, during this test is that there's some stratification going on at the, of the iron content along the glass and the resin um, barrier um, within the um, number itself. But the rest of them, if you'll notice, they're all very similar between the 9.9 and 9.7. But this is just a test, um, actually a desktop test in, in for, of the uh, product itself. Put it, the parts into a motor and what we're, we're told and what we're, we're, we find from testing with our OEMs is they actually find that there's a much different result uh, of the wedges when used inside of the motor. And part of that belief is because of the stratification of the material. And so we'll talk a little bit more of what they believe they're seeing, what stratification is in the next slide. 